excited about today's video because I'm actually going to be doing August favorites, but I'm doing it vlog style. And the reason is because of one of my new favorites this month I've been following on YouTube. Her name is Mary Elizabeth. She just did her recent favorites vlog style and I absolutely loved watching it because you're able to see all the products that she talked about actually in the house and really able to talk about how they function. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna walk around the house. I have them strategically set up as we go, but I'm gonna share all of my monthly favorites for August. So let's get going. My very first favorite is a big purchase but one we had to make is a new washer and dryer so we got the samsung active wash and i absolutely love them some people told me not to go with the samsung but i'm telling you i am so ridiculously happy with them first of all they just make cheerful noises when you start them up what i love about the active wash is if you open it up there is a basin sink in the washer. So then you just hold this. The sink will fill up with water. You can soak and stain treat clothes, which is just phenomenal. And then when you're done, you can just pour them all out. It clicks back into place. It's also absolutely enormous. I'm really, really happy with them. The dryer is also really, really large. Just really happy with the purchase. Another favorite laundry purchase, it's draining the water right now, are these dryer balls. My mother-in-law actually recommended these to me. These dryer balls are completely organic. They help take some of the static out and really fluff up your clothes. I really, really like them. I got these off of Amazon and they are fantastic. Plus, they make for a really cute decoration in your laundry room. Another thing that I've been fully obsessed with, and it works really great for summer, but also transitions into the fall really nicely, are terracotta planters. I love them. I've been using them as desk accessories. You'll see them around the house as we walk around. I just think they add a really cool warmth to any space, and I'm in love with them this month. It would not be an August favorite without talking to you about a candle. And I recently discovered this brand called Sensational in Home Goods. I loved it because I finally found pumpkin candles that were white. I have this one here. In my living room, I have an apple cider one burning right now. And then I have another one in here on my entry table. They burn so evenly. They throw off so much scent. I'm absolutely in love with them. If you can get to your home goods, it is a huge candle for $12. Definitely, definitely go check them out. They're well, well worth it. I'm also going to share a favorite that cannot be purchased, but this month I was able to see two amazing women who I have kind of looked up to, been inspired by, and just find completely motivational. One was I got to see Serena Williams play live front row. It was incredible. Lastly, Stephen and I were invited last Monday to listen to Ruth Bader Ginsburg speak. She is everything you think she is and so much more. She is so sharp, so witty, so funny, and just absolutely incredible. It was a highlight of my life that I will never ever forget. Um, but those were definitely two favorites this month. Another favorite is Ray Dunn. I got on the bandwagon this month. I don't know what took me so long, but I love the simplicity and the graphic, black and white. And yeah, they're very reasonably priced. All the pieces run between $5 to $15 at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. I am in love with it. And I really like how it has added a little bit of a kitschy coolness to the kitchen. Really, really enjoying Radon. You know every monthly favorite also has a music favorite. And there is no better album this month than Taylor Swift's Lover. 
I love all 18 songs absolutely obsessed with it. Another favorite this month is this beautiful Vitruvi essential oil diffuser. It is the prettiest diffuser I have yet to find. And then my favorite oil this month has been the Pumpkin Pie by Good Essentials. I got it on Amazon. It literally smells up the entire house and makes me so ready for fall, but by far the best diffuser I found. Now, there is no way that this could be a Christopher's monthly favorites without all the books I loved this month. So the first book that I absolutely love this month is A Stranger in the House. It is about a woman named Karen. One night she gets a phone call. I won't tell you anything about that, but she races off, ends up being in an accident where she remembers nothing, and returns home. Police suspect her of being up to no good, which it's just an amazing psychological thriller. I love The Couple Next Door. It's the same author, and I actually just got an unwanted guest, which is also by the same author. I haven't read it yet, but this book is one of my favorite psychological thrillers I've read, and you guys know I love that style of book, so I highly recommend A Stranger in the House. It was fantastic. The next book is The Beautiful No and Other Tales of Trial, Transcendence, and Transformation by Sherry Salata. She's actually a producer or was a producer on The Oprah Winfrey Show, also worked for the OWN Network, and it's really about her life, um, and she kind of parallels it with this idea that she spent so much time sharing other people's stories and their transformations and all of that that she kind of lost herself, and it's about her journey of like rediscovering herself, detoxing, and just making the life or future that she really wants for herself. It's a really good read. I found it very inspiring. It's just a beautiful book. I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you're someone who's just trying to figure things out, which <laughs> aren't we all. The next book, part in the title, is The Effort Diet, um, Eating Should Be Easy by Caroline Dooner. This book is the best diet, non-diet book I've ever read. It just attacks the issues of food and diet culture in a way that is so smart and witty and funny, and I really enjoyed it. The next book is Maybe You Should Talk to Someone. It is a book about a therapist, her therapist, and their clients. It's witty, it's smart, it's funny, it's heartwarming. I This is probably the book that I loved the most um, this month. I laughed, I teared up, I just found it to be so well written. But it's interesting because she's the therapist, but also then explores the dynamic of her own therapist because her life takes a turn. It's so, so fun and I just loved it. I literally laughed out loud. I actually had this at the airport with me and was laughing out loud while waiting for my plane. Um, highly recommend it. You will love it. It's phenomenal. There's nothing else I could say about it. You just gotta pick this up. My last favorite book this month was Tan France, Naturally Tan. I just recently got into watching Queer Eye. Um, I cry every single episode. I know so many of you are with me, but this book is so beautifully written. Uh, he explores all aspects of his life, being gay in a culture that it's really unacceptable, and kind of finding himself and being comfortable in his own skin. It's well written, it's funny, it's smart, um, and it gives you a glimpse into his culture and just how he navigated his life through it. And really, he talks a lot about not seeing anyone that looked like him as a gay man, um, and it's just, it's so well done. It's so well done. I highly recommend it. This is just a great read. So, those are my favorite books. We've talked about some of my favorite home stuff, but we gotta talk about my favorite skincare and items I've been using. So, the first thing I have to talk about is my water pick. This thing is a game changer. I have very sensitive gums, and sometimes flossing really bothers them or irritates them. I use this water pick every day. It's fantastic. It gets the same clean, if not clean, cleaner results than flossing. And I'm just absolutely in love with it. I cannot recommend it enough. If you don't have a water pick, you should definitely get one. I have mentioned these products before, but I've recently rediscovered them, repurchased, and have been loving them. First one I want to share with you is the Aesop Resurrection Hand Wash. 
This smells so good. It leaves your hands feeling so clean. Sometimes you wash your hands with liquid soap and it feels like there's like a residue on your hands. This just washes away. The scent is so beautiful. Absolutely love it. The next thing is the amazing face cleanser. I use this on my Clarisonic Mia. It just takes a few drops so it will last a long time, but it is such a great, great facial cleanser. It has mandarin, rind, lavender. It's for oily and combination skin. Um, I've noticed now that I've been running, my skin has been a little bit more oily, but I think you could totally use this for all skin types, but it's recommended for oily and combination. I'm really, really enjoying it. I find that it leaves my face feeling really clean, and yeah, can't say enough about it. Out of all the products, this is my favorite. This is the Aesop Bitter Orange Astringent Toner. It has Bitter Orange Witch Hazel, which is so good for your skin, Rosemary Leaf, um, and this toner really cuts down the grime on your face. I use it after my runs, I use it every night, I use it every morning. I love this stuff, I use it on my face and on my neck. It leaves your face feeling so stripped and clean. It really helps get rid of excess oil, and it's just a great facial toner. It's actually the best one that I found. After I wash my face, I go ahead and grab this toner, and then whatever my face wash didn't get, this strips away the rest of it and leaves my skin really, really clean. I cannot recommend it enough. It is my favorite thing out of this line. I also wanna mention this. It's the Aesop Ginger Flight Therapy. It has ginger root, lavender, and geranium. Uh, it's an essential oil to put on your temples to help ease your mind while you're flying. It also just makes you feel really refreshed. It helps you rest. It helps me fall asleep. So not only have I been using this on flights, I've also been using it at night when I'm going to bed. I absolutely love it. And here is the second to last favorite for the month. Steven bought me this um, right towards the beginning of summer. And I thought it was kind of ridiculous. It's a Rowenta Perfect Steam Steaming Station in iron. It takes three minutes to heat up, but it is the best iron and steamer. You can steam vertically with it. You can also just steam right on the ironing board. This is truly, truly the best iron. It actually makes ironing fun, and the steam just helps get the wrinkles out so much quicker. But I also love it. I can transport it and use it to steam my curtains when they are looking a little creased or after I wash them. It's just fantastic. I don't know why I didn't get one of these sooner. But the Rowenta Perfect Steam Steaming Station in iron is definitely a favorite of August and will probably a fa be a favorite of 2019 because it is so fantastic. And my last favorite of the month is this cell phone case. It's half matte black, half leopard. I've gotten more compliments on this cell phone case than any other cell phone case I've ever bought. And I absolutely love it. And it has definitely been a favorite this month. So my friends, that is my favorites for August. I was so excited to do this vlog style and I thank Mary Elizabeth for inspiring it because it was a fun way to walk around the house and kind of plant the things as we go. I hope you like the style of August favorites. I think it's cool to see how the pieces are working in the spaces but yeah everything is linked down below so go check it out if you have questions just ask them down below but I'd love to hear what your August favorites are this month because I'm always looking for new ones so what books did you love what home good things did you buy this month that you have really loved I'd love to hear what your August favorites or picks are especially music and books and home decor items in the meantime, my friends, I will end this vlog like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.